I didn't know cereal could make me feel uncomfortable. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. If you want to know why Red is wearing a Band-Aid on his nose, it's a good question. You'll have to look at two episodes ago to know about that. Listen, I rarely go to the grocery store. Yeah, um, I knew that. Uh, Christy, she likes to go to the grocery store, yep. and that's, you know, she has opinions about those things. She gathers all these things she from- She has opinions about groceries. From the grocery store, so I gladly let her tackle that. Uh -huh. uh, but occasionally, she's, she gives me a text, and she's like, I need you to pick up so-and-so. Uh -huh. Rot of milk. Um, I left the kids at the grocery store. I need you to get some sort of seasoning or some sort of vegetable that I've never heard of before. Rhubarb. And I'm just gonna, I know I'm gonna be in there for hours just going along the front, reading all of the signs. Thank goodness for those signs, oh, man. man. I'd never find anything. And so, the people, the so people I, who are there. I, always, I never leave until I get what I'm going for, but then I always go down the cereal aisle. It's a wonderful aisle. I'm, I'm like the... Uh, the most interesting man in the world. Isn't that what he's called, the Dos Equis guy? He's like, I don't always go to the grocery store, but when I do, I get cereal. He says something like that. So yeah. It's a little bit different. A little different, that about cereal. It has something to do with beer. So yeah. I always go down the cereal aisle, and because I love cereal, and it's so easy to make. It just involves <laughs> pouring. Well, so whenever really I'm in charge. It. When you pour it, you're not making it. Somebody else made it. Just... I consider myself a chef when I'm making cereal yeah. for my kids because you're, my you're, wife is doing something else. You're presenting else it to yourself. That, that particular night. But listen, I went down the cereal aisle this time, and I found this. Now, th this episode is not sponsored by Kashi, which is the name brand of Good Friends Cereal. Have you heard of this? Not until you told me about it. It is a cereal with two, uh, I guess, Presumably, good friends on here. What's it taste um, like? Open it up. Let's let's try a little bit of it. Now, first of all, observation: these are twins, which means smells they're healthy. sisters. It smells healthy. I don't know that these are good friends. These are twins. I'll get my own cereal. Thank you. Wow, it's got like um, little sticks in it. Well, a toasted trio of flakes, twigs, and granola cereal. So there's three. I don't know why there's not three friends. Why's on it the got front. twigs in it? Twigs, man, that's the best cereal has twigs. Oh, oh. It doesn't really taste like good friends. It needs milk. Mm. I can see how it's the kind of thing you eat with your good friend, though. Hey man, what about these twigs? When's the last time we ever ate cereal together? It's interesting that you're really, you're really thinking about it. College. We, we didn't even, we've never eaten cereal together, right? This makes me think we should do that. Well, we're eating cereal right now, but you know, like, in front of a bowl, you've made, you've produced the cereal, you you've you've made it. It's okay, but like I was saying, these are twins. They are sisters. It has their story on the back. Ari and Nari. One of our favorite stories come came from Nari, whose twin sister Ari has devoted herself to being a steward of the environment. Ari and Nari. First of all, yeah, these women are these women are twin sisters. That's not friends. They didn't have a choice. You know, like we had a choice. I, I could I've met you and been like. Dork, don't want to be his Never friend. Never want to eat cereal with you. But these people didn't have a choice. That's not a real friendship. That's a forced situation. That's a circumstance right there, buddy. That's just because you shared a mother's womb together. Who are you talking to? The uh, Kashi. Talking to Kashi themselves. Yep. Now if Kashi wants to sponsor us, I'm all for it. I like the fact that they're linking cereal to friendship, which still makes no sense to me. I just, I don't get it. But, what? The, okay, this is just one box. I looked online and there are there's a whole series of Good Friends uh, cereals with different people's faces on the front, most of which have their heads touching. I want to go through these photos because we have true friendship, Brett. <coughs> <laughs> and now it's over. I'm choking up just thinking about it. I think that was a twig. So I did, I did, There's too many twigs. I would do less twigs. I just proved my um, friendship to you by laughing in your face when you started choking. <laughs> I, did, I didn't move to give you the Heimlich or anything. The little clusters are good though. Okay, check out this box. Is this friends or is this a husband and wife? I think they're using the term friend very yeah, loosely. You can't have, listen, you can't have platonic friendships with, with women and get that close to them. 
I'm just telling you right now. And if you've been married a long time, you don't it's get like, that close either. Either it's like when you put your you put take two dogs and you put. I did this when I was a kid. I don't advise this. You take two dogs and you put their faces next to each other. They instantly start fighting. You take a man and a woman and you put their faces like this. They start kissing. <laughs> it's, it's a, that's what happens. You can't. No, they don't. You can't do that. No, no. That, they, they, <laughs> no, right. they start eating cereal. Oh, okay. That's what. Man, that's not a friendship. This man. is such a tight shot. On the, you know, they could have loosened up the framing a little bit. I mean, it's well to get two Ryan, faces to get two faces on a cereal box. I mean, think about it. you got it right in there. You could just back up, dude. Ron Howard looks a little uncomfortable. <laughs> wow, he does look like Ron Howard. He looks happy. The woman actually looks like uh, a little uncomfortable. All right, what else we got? We got another picture here. This one's purple. And it's got two Ricky Lakes on the front. That's the, that's the same woman that's been photoshopped, photoshopped, <laughs> photoshopped <laughs> to be a little bit bigger uh, on the right side. Oh gosh! I, again, their heads are touching. They look too happy, but I think it has something to do with thirty-two percent fiber. This has forty-six percent. We got a better one. That one's got fifty percent fiber. This next one. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's up with the different levels of fiber? Well, the older you get, the more fiber you need. I think is what's happening. Okay. She definitely has a creepy smile. Oh, good friend. <laughs> I'm choking. I'm choking too. Help me. Give me something to drink. These people have met at like a uh, like a yoga class or something. Bingo. They're playing bingo, clearly. I think, you know, she's like, I do not know this man. She's like, uh, Robert makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> when, he's, when he's touching my hair with his eyebrow. Okay, what else? All right, finally here, we've got Cin Cinna Raisin Crunch. This is a grandma and a grandchild. Again, they're using the term friends very loosely. Maybe they're just good friends. I mean, I was friends with old women when I was a little kid. I think this is going... Uh, yeah, exactly. No, I, I had a lot, yeah, I just... That's creepy. I think this is going a little creepy. After I finish my Cinna Raisin Crunch, I'm going to bake this unsuspecting child in my oven. <laughs> Okay, well, listen. Why is it not called best friend cereal? I mean, why not go all the way? Because if it's best friends, then you're, it's asking too much. But good friends is like, yeah, we hung out one time. We, we're willing to be on this cereal box. All I gotta say is, I, I, I wanna issue a, 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 a challenge to Kashi. You wanna put- You want us to be on the box. You wanna put some real what, best friends up I on a cereal box? You put these two guys. My, my nose will be healed up by that time. I won't have a Band-Aid on my head. Mama face. There should be berries in here. It'd be twigging berries. We, hold on, we don't need to <laughs> listen. We don't need to criticize the cereal anymore because now it's all about getting on the box. I take about. I take back anything negative I said about the cereal. Is great. I love the twigs. <laughs> Go a little lighter on the twig. A little heavy on the berry. <laughs> we did, we did the twigging berries edition. It's a whole new thing. All right, so we got this camera here. We are going to take our photo, Kashi. We're going to make this easy for you. Mythical Beast out there. Facebook.com slash Kashi. Again, we're not being paid for this, but we want to be. We, I don't even want to be paid. I just want to be, I just on, the be box. on the box. And we're going to make it easy. Here are the photos. We're going to take them right now. Yes, we're going to have to Photoshop now, out his band-aid. But listen, they're all smiling with their mouths open. That's, and their faces That's one touching. of the things. That, like, <laughs> it, I feel like we're, you're cheating too much this way. You need to... Sometimes one guy's lower. <laughs> you messed up my glasses <laughs> in that one. But hold on, but you've got to think about this. Everybody's trying to get side by side. That's why they can't fit on the box. The boxes are taller than they are wide, so we should do all tightly. What else can we do? Look, you know what? At all looking at the camera, we should do one where we look off. Okay, look, well, look. I'm going to look. I'm not going to look this way. Yeah, Just yeah. look we opposite look ways. Down. Let's act mad with each other. Like we're good friends. Good friends fight. Yeah, there's a little, a little tiff. <laughs> I think we, our work is done here. What else? I mean, Any other you ideas? Want, you want to put that on a from cereal the, box? From the Crony Club. Face to face. <laughs> Ben's like face to face. Yeah, we've right. done that enough. Yeah, we don't need to do that. We're we're good friends. All right, seriously. We're not best friends. Mythical Beast, let's make this else. happen. You want to see us on a cereal box? We do. What's We're it? not sporty enough to be on Wheaties, so this is this is our only chance. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Julia from Ukraine Kiev, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Make sure to listen to the latest episode of Ear Biscuits, our podcast. If you haven't been listening, you should be listening. Comes out Friday afternoons. You can enjoy it over the weekend. An hour-long conversation with someone interesting from the internet, iTunes, and SoundCloud. Link is a lifeguard. A wreck can't swim.
Hey, man. Hey, man. They watching it up. What up? Is this where the three feet goes to the deep end? Yeah. My mom doesn't know I'm out of here. <laughs> this is actually a beach, dude. Hey, hey, hey! I can't swim. What? Oh, I see you like good friend cereal. Mm, me too. What an ugly kid. You want to be my friend? I like being friends with old people. This is my opportunity to thin out the gene pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your head's, your head's kind of slippery. Hey, man. Hey, mister. What are you trying to do? Frost mini wheat? Mm hmm. You still have that at home all the time? Mm hmm. There's never a reason you're like, I don't, I'm not going to get that this time. I always have some on hand. It's like having a fire extinguisher nearby.